Hi guys, so the question is often asked, can the Tories stoop any lower? Yes, they can. Have they found the bottom of the barrel? Of course they haven't. They can dig a lot deeper. They can go a lot lower. And here is a typical case of this. Now, this is not the Tories directly. This is their supporters in the media and the mail on Sunday. It says here, Tories accuse Labour, Labour's Angela Rayner of basic instinct ploy to distract Boris Johnson. So Boris Johnson, who cannot be replaced because allegedly there's a war going on and um, you can't replace the prime minister, even though it has happened before during a war, but you know, Britain has not declared war on Russia, but Boris Johnson can't be replaced. The public are not interested in uh, party gates, all of this rubbish. This is what we get from the, the Mail on Sunday, that Angela Rayner is distracting Boris Johnson or has distracted Boris Johnson from his role as prime minister because of her legs, really. Now, this is, of course, deeply misogynistic, but misogyny has a, a place in Parliament, it seems. This is from the, the Sunday Times on the same day. It says here in this tweet, three cabinet ministers and two shadow cabinet ministers are facing allegations of sexual misconduct after being reported to the parliamentary watchdog set up in the wake of the Me Too scandal. So, cabinet ministers, shadow cabinet ministers... And then you have this story. But it gets worse. <laughs> this is what Boris Johnson said in response to this. It says, As much as I disagree with Angela Rayner on almost every political issue, I respect her as a parliamentarian and deplore the misogyny directed at her anonymously today. Now, it was not anonymous because the article was written by this guy called Glenn Owen, okay, who writes for the Mail on Sunday. So it was not anonymous. So <laughs> why are you saying it was anonymous? Uh, and then uh, another step deeper into this rubbish, this pathetic situation, pathetic response from the Tories, is that Nadine Doris, the culture secretary, copied and pasted Boris Johnson's response because she couldn't be bothered to write her own. You can see here, as much as I disagree with Angela Rayner on all, almost every political issue, I respect her as a parliamentarian and deplore the misogyny directed at her anonymously today. Exactly the same quote. What is going on here? And once again, have we reached the bottom of the barrel? I don't know. I think there's a long way to go for before we do eventually reach the bottom of the bar with this conservative government. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.